Hi, I'm Dr. Wachtel. Uh, welcome to our practice. Uh, today we're going to be uh, reviewing uh, ingrown toenails, um, causes and treatment in a video. Um, ingrown toenails are an incurvation or um, a penetration of the side of the nail into the skin. And it's caused typically by either shoe gear, meaning it's too narrow where the toes are, or, or trauma or um, sometimes just by actually cutting the nail incorrectly. Uh, today, from beginning to end, we are going to show you uh, an ingrown nail procedure. Um, we call it a matrixectomy, and what we do is after we numb the toe, we take the side of the actual nail out uh, with a scalpel blade, we put a chemical in, so it doesn't regrow. And then we send the patient home with some uh, soaking instructions. Uh, so uh, we're going to start our video today with the uh, very beginning with the injection. Uh, we're gonna start off with and then move on to the actual procedure. So this is how we numb the toe. We put a very cold spray so the patient does not feel the um, uh, anesthesia. And then uh, we inject both, the, both sides of the big toe. Now we let the anesthesia take and we come back in uh, several minutes to do the actual procedure. So now the surgical tray is uh, uh, set up and then uh, what then we do next is uh, check to make sure that the um, medication is uh, working correctly. No pain? No pain. Okay. We're removing the, out, the outer aspect of the uh, side of the toenail. So we use uh, a little bit of a tourniquet so that we don't have too much blood that comes into the field. Pick up your feet. Good. Can you lower him for me? Good. Okay. Clean the area with a little bit of. alcohol wipes take a piece of the nail nail nipper and then with a scalpel blade we go down to the entire root Outside the nail. We then put medication in, an acid, very high power acid, to kill the root.
while the procedure is being done, the patient is not feeling anything other than pressure. Um, it's, uh, there's very little pain involved while we're doing the procedure because it's numb. We then go in and uh, look to see, make sure there's nothing in there, clean it up. Vasotracin on there, cover it up and everything. And uh, the procedure is done. The patient goes home with um, soaking instructions and we'll do a follow-up in about one or two weeks and uh, that's about it. Okay.